Hey guys, Tomboy601, and today we have the Prince Ruprecht, all new for this update, the Tier 8 German Battlecruiser, and guys, now that the lines are searchable, get in there, research them, they're a ton of fun, um, quickly becoming some of my favorite ships to play, and uh, Prince Ruprecht is no different. Uh, as far as Commander we are running, I, I lamented, I gave in, I, I know... I was like, oh, Claire Teslau, she's fantastic. Put on, I put on the good old Hyde, and I will have to say, probably Hyde is is better on this one. Uh, Teslau, as much as I as much as I wanted her to work better, I, I I just think the dispersion hit and the ability to to boost the dispersion with Hyde is uh, just so much more on point. And then we got the full secondary build. Interesting note on this one, uh, Prince, Prince Ruprecht somehow has a lower secondary range than the tier seven, the Z in like not by much. We're talking like 0.1 kilometers, but still there's a difference there. And I don't know why, like, I feel like it's a tier eight. It should, it should, you know, it should have more secondary range than the tier seven, especially when that's kind of one of the gimmicks, one of the sticks of, of the ship. Anyways, uh, we're here on islands of ice. Uh, playing the good old, the good, good, good uh, epicenter. And we are just going to try to use this set of islands uh, that is now in front of us as sort of mobile cover because uh, battlecruisers, they're not battleships. They don't have full battleship armor. Um, but what they do have is a vast amount of armament and ability to do damage when you can get within medium range, i.e. once you can get into that secondary range, about 11 kilometers, that's where these things shine. So if we can use these islands to island hop our way, you use them as cover, um, then we are going to put ourselves in a very good position. Um, we do have one, two, three, four, five kind of ships over on this side that we can deal with at this moment. So we have plenty of targets. We just need to kind of execute the plan. You can see we're, we're just slowly creeping. We want them to get kind of in positions. We see some of them are turning out. That's okay. We want them to have guns that aren't in the, in the best positions. And now that they are like that, it's time to push forward and move on up. Uh, other things about Prince Ruprecht, her main batteries, you got uh, eight 406s, essentially 16 inch guns. And uh, they can absolutely punch when you need them to. Uh, you know, having having 16 inch guns at tier eight is, I feel like, kind of the minimum that you'd you'd want to think about having. So uh, <laughs> having them is a is a good thing overall. Uh, they have a fairly quick reload, just like all of the other uh, battle cruisers. Of course, you don't have a ton of shells flying, so that kind of is the balancing factor for them. I mean, as you can see, we're kind of just pushing up to this next island, getting ready for the shot on on the Iowa. Uh, Main guns finally, or secondary, finally start engaging some enemy ships. Zara fires his guns. We're, we're starting to get them, and now we're starting to get those secondary hits off. And things are start, finally starting to pop off. This is this is what we've been waiting this match to do, is kind of push in here. Uh, we can see Zara on the torpedo indicator. He doesn't have much health left, but we're going to dump the, the first set of torps just in case. Uh, our, our secondary starting to engage the Roma, which is fine by us. Um, you know, we don't need to really worry about uh, Roma's secondaries for us, because you know, he has a standard secondaries. So there'd be a little bit more concern if he if he was um, the sister ship of the Veneto with its SAP secondaries. But uh, where we are right now, we're feeling good, right? We have we're nose in. We have this cover. Um, we have the torpedo tubes pretty much ready, other than for the set that we just launched off. One thing you may have noticed on those torpedo tubes: the uh, firing angles on them are freaking fantastic man the the firing angles uh make it so you don't have to open up too much in order to dump the torps uh which for a german battleship or battle cruiser um is exactly is exactly what you want right uh to, to have the utility on on those torpedoes is fantastic iowa coming around the corner we dump torpedoes towards iowa uh he shoots in right into our side armor that's great one thing that does happen a good chunk with Ruprecht is those torpedoes can get knocked out and destroyed. Uh, the, the downside to the fantastic torpedo angles is the fact of where they're positioned. They're kind of like right out on deck and at your 
and at your midpoint. So uh, shells, when your nose on or side in or whatever, whatever have you be, uh, they can absolutely uh, hit those and end up making it so that you don't have the ability to, uh, to, to you know, they, they can get easily knocked. Um, other things about the battle cruisers, of course, we do have the limited number of damage control parties. I was surprised uh, when Wargaming didn't release or announce or show any sort of new uh, commander perk or commander specifically for the battle cruisers to boost that number. Um, you know, as you can see, I think we're doing perfectly fine without the the boost in number of damage uh, damage control parties. Um, but I think it would be nice as an option for players if they want to spec into, right? Uh, that's one of the things I feel like World of Warships we get, we miss out a lot on in this game is I feel like our commander meta can be fairly stale and uh, it would be nice uh, just to have that option so that if, uh, so that when there's a commander, you know, when there's, there's multiple viable builds and I think definitely one viable build for this will end up being the the lack of damage uh, can or the boost of damage control parties because for example right now I'm running um, damage control systems in my second slot on this boat and well like I don't think I do that for any other ship in this game uh, but just because of the 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 n amount of damage the the limited number of damage control parties and just where you end up sticking the ship you want to reduce uh, whatever you can. And to have the ability to not have to pull that and then have either the uh, either engine or prop mod would be a total boost. Anyways, we get the high caliber there. We're kind of sitting behind this island because we, we've started sort of our Alamo moment here. Uh, we are totally surrounded. We can see uh, Roma on one end. Uh, we're, our secondaries are engaging another ship. We're, we're just out turning and dodging the mines' uh, torpedoes. Brandenburg is now within range of us over here. We're going to go ahead, dump torps with, at the Brandenburg, see if we can get some uh, torps there. We pick up the Confederate probably from the secondaries. And uh, this is where decision paralysis really starts to kick in because I'm like, okay, can we get the guns to swing over for uh, for the Roma? Do we do we try to go after Brandenburg? Who who do we go who do we go after? Um, and I was like, okay, I think I think the better call is to try to get the guns to the to the port side of the vessel. Kind of trying to look at if the torpedoes will be good on the Brandenburg. Uh, I was hoping the torpedoes are going to be good on the Roma. We hit the accelerator. Mines had his time to flip over, and unfortunately, we are just going to eat these torpedoes from him. Um, we're going to try to get our guns off just to get one last scratch of damage, but uh, that ends up our game. Uh, go ahead, go to the end screen. We end up top of the leaderboard. Remember, uh, you don't get as many points for secondary hits. But anyways, fun game, fun ship. If you have the chance, research it. It's a great time. Guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.